After thinking about it, Walter has decided to do what the Ave Geeks have wanted and make the observation area happen. Currently under construction with the new terminal as well, Terminal C, Walter is very happy with the progress at the Storyline Airport. He thinks that going forward that a lot of great things are going to happen for the airport. I just want to come out and say to the fellow Ave Geeks and anybody else interested that this is a move that I'm very excited about. I want to give my Ave Geeks more interaction with the airport and I think this is the best way to do it. I'm also very excited to announce that now FedEx Express and UPS are now at the airport too, serving for cargo here at the Storyline Airport. There's nothing more I'd want here and I think we have a great community and overall just a great thing going here and that's all I can say. I'm very proud of it and moving forward I have a lot more I want to do. I want to keep expanding. I want more international airlines here. I want to keep expanding with the fellow airlines here already. And going forward, there's going to be a lot to be excited about. So, hope you guys are excited too. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. I hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today, we have the early October 2019 Storyline Airport update for you guys. Uh, we're finally moving into the fall, as we see. We're getting October off with a good start. We did get the trip report out on last Friday. The American Airlines McDonald's Dubs MD83 from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Dallas, Fort Worth. It was nearly an hour long. Um, I did that just so we can include all the footage. I didn't want to fast forward anything, plus it, well, it took a lot of effort too. So anyways, that's how if you want to go watch it. Um, but you guys are probably here for this. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. With all that being said, we have an awesome storyline airport update for you guys today. As you guys can see over there, uh, we have a massive expansion after you guys watch that cutscene. So pretty much, um, as voted on by you guys, uh, the uh, what's best for the airport was not picking or picked. What was picked was um, going on to uh, doing what the Ave Geeks wanted. So um, the construct or the um, observation area is under construction on the new portion of the airport. So I will, have, I will show you guys that shortly. Um, and including this update is eight new models. Uh, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, there is a very big decision at the end regarding which airlines are going to expand. Um, maybe Doug Park may be back and he may have a, uh, a little rant for Walter. So you guys will definitely want to stick around for that. Uh, with all that being said though, I'm going to have to edit that cutscene later on today. So I don't want to waste any more time. Uh, rambling will be, uh, towards the end. So hope you guys are excited for this update. And anyways, uh, with all that being said, we're going to get started. So I also just thought off the top of my head, if you guys want to see cutscenes uh, somewhere in the middle of the updates, let me know. When I have ad revenue, maybe that will be more of a, like, a football game halftime type deal, I don't know. It just kind of clicked in my head that maybe having them in the middle would be kind of cool for different, so the ramblings at the end of course. But nevertheless, we're going to start with up that we are going to get started with this update. We will begin with... Um, I'll sh yeah, I'll just briefly go over the expansion. So pretty much we have a whole new fold-up table. So um, as you guys have requested, cargo's now in the update. They have their spot over there. Or I'll pick up the camera here real quick and show you guys a little overview. So pretty much here's everything. This is all the same right here. So we have the new concourse under construction. That will be uh, concourse C, terminal C. or And then you have terminal A, ter terminal B, concourse A, terminal B, concourse B. And then you have Terminal C, which is under construction. Uh, depending on what you guys vote is what that will be used for, but it will be done by next update, as you guys can tell, uh, due to the American Airlines um, not being expanding anymore. That could be changing. It depends on your guys' uh, votes. But anyways, um, that side, the Terminal's done, so it's five gates on each side. So I'll make a concourse at Terminal A, 10 gates, and taxiways right there, so that's why there's none on the end. I didn't want to have it much closer because this is kind of the threshold area. So the runway has been extended from right here on. So we have the runway all the way to here. Um, and then we have a little taxiway area so you can get to the cargo, not this gate. Um, this reminds me a lot of um, John P3922 or Ben Powell's um, one Heathrow, one of the, the newest layout before he um, went on his hiatus or his quit YouTube or whatever, um, where he had the Virgin Atlantic gates over here on this side for that terminal where they crossed over to the runway on the old map for Gemini Jets. So that's what that kind of reminds me of. So um, we do have our little cargo terminal. Um, you could make two narrow bodies and a heavy or you could do two and two, but I only have two cargo planes. So that's kind of where we're at. This is the under construction um, observation area, which I think is really cool because the fans will be able to see 
Um, the cargo planes really well too, and then plus you'll have a great view of planes coming off the runway. And for the other flow, you'll have planes landing like this. So it kind of reminds me, if you want to see really cool views of planes uh, landing um, at Tulsa, you have to have north wind. So that's kind of what it is. It's the same runway. That's uh, one eight. That's three six. So we have one runway, and then we have the taxiway off and back towards the terminal areas. And this will obviously be a big terminal once it is done. Um, unfortunately, the sun, well, it's trying to cooperate. It's been mainly a very cloudy day. However, it's trying to break out some, so hopefully we'll have some lighting uh, at some point later on in the update, but not depending on it. But anyways, without further delay, we are gonna get started with today's update. So, as I get us back on the tripod here, we will start with, yeah, this is a tough decision, I won't, mm. We will start with, uh, I never know where to start. This airport's starting to get really big, so that's why there's a lot of choices here. I'm gonna adjust the tripod, it looks a little off. About there, okay. Um, uh, we'll just, I suppose we'll start here at the runway. Or that's normal where I am. So we'll start over here with the cargo and the planes arriving. So anyways, so here's the new cargo terminal. Like I said, it is two gates. Um, if you guys don't recognize, that's the Albuquerque terminal building. Um, that usually sits in the corner, but finally has a purpose in the Storyline Airport, so I think it's pretty awesome. So anyways, loading up at the first cargo gate. We have finally cleaned it off. Here's the United Postal Service Boeing 767-300 freighter. He's currently loading, loading up cargo, and we'll be heading out to, um, as uh, these are new routes technically, he's gonna be heading out to Louisville after arrival from Ontario, so those are UPS's new flights. Um, some routes will start to be flowing in that are not voted in by you guys for airlines new routes. I just want to kind of get this airport really progressing. It's going to be as big as Dallas here very soon. So already using all the tables. So, but I really like the layout. I think it's really cool. Anyways, uh, pushing back, um, he's going to make a big loop onto this area right here, and he's going to go back over to take off. Here we have a FedEx Express Boeing 777-200, one of the new models by NG Models. It looks really, really good in my opinion. I really like it. Anyways, he's pushing back with service out to Memphis after arrival from Chicago, Roxford, which probably is more of a UPS uh, destination, but did that for AS Aviation. So FedEx will have the, those two services, and hopefully I can get some more cargo planes soon. I did make a big deal with a uh, fellow Ave Geek on Instagram for some planes, so none of them are cargo, but I just want to let you guys know. He knows uh, who he is, so hopefully he does ship those out because I do pay him quite a lot of money for him. So, pulling off a of runway 18, here we have a Frontier Airlines Airbus E320 Neo. This is Wilbur the Whitetail, and unfortunately the nose will fell off again for this plane too. He's currently pulling off of runway 18 after arrival from Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, and we'll be heading out to Orlando later on today. Following that, we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800. He's currently. Um, Tripod's not wanting to cooperate, does it? He's currently uh, tax back tra back taxing kind of, but he's making his way back over to the terminal after arrival from Salt Lake City today. Um, he's going to be making a return flight out there. There is some new models, and I didn't really regroup on what new routes I wanted to add, so that's why it's going to be a little different. But uh, going to have to come up with most of it on the fly. Next up over there, uh, tripod was probably good where it was. But anyways, here we have a JetBlue Airlines Airbus E321, the prison tell he's arriving from New York JFK today, and we'll be making a return flight out there shortly. Um, trying to add Long Beach right now is what Walter has said. Yeah, we probably need to put that back where it was, to say the least. Taxing in, here we have an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800. He's currently uh, taxing in from San Francisco, and we'll be making the flight out to Portland soon. I will say that in that negotiation with the fellow Ave Geek, there is a quite a handful of Alaska models in it. As I talked about, it kind of just worked out, so pretty excited about those. Uh, currently uh, making the taxi back over to Turnable B. Here you have the Delta Airlines um, Boeing 717. He's currently arriving in from Detroit today. Far over there. Uh, we will we'll head back over to Turnable. So. Um, in the negotiation, um, we we have decided that Southwest is in the uh, moving process. Um, depending on what you guys vote, of course, I'm not going to say that this is permanent, but there's a chance that Southwest will be moving all operations over to this the south side of Terminal A. But for right now, they have two planes over there to kind of occupy some gates. But they're in the transition period, uh, theoretically, even though it might not stay. So. 
In this airport, the Max is back. I didn't get an American Max, but I just clicked Southwest because the small hasn't been flying in an update in a very long time. So these are back in this airport, so keep that in mind. So here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 Max 8. He's currently heading out to Dallas Love Field today after arrival from Houston Hobby. Now I'm going to have to come up with quite a few Southwest routes off the fly, but Southwest uh, has a chance to make a massive expansion here at Storyline Airport. Over there we have, if the tripod was even and everything, but it's not, uh, a South Carolina Boeing 737-700 in the Maryland One Paint Scheme. He's currently, why is the tripod like moving like that? It like tends to go down. Let me see if I can seem to fix it. Here we have a South Carolina Boeing 737-700. He's currently loading up passengers and we'll be heading out to Denver, Colorado today after arrival from, we're going to change it up and go with Los Angeles for that arrival. And then we'll get the American side. So we do have a handful of new models over here too. Starting with the first new model. Here we have the uh, first update for this plane. I really like it. Here we have new American Airlines Airbus A321neo. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to Los Angeles today. Really like the look of it. Looks pretty gosh darn nice. Glad to have it. Next up down there, we have an American Eagle Ember 175. Currently loading up passengers with service out to uh, Washington Reagan DCA. Um, this flight still, these are still, uh, the majority routes are the same. However, some of them will be kind of off the fly, like I have mentioned. But anyways, he's signing up to Washington, D.C.A. Still one day late. Ember 175, I'll try to get that more lined up uh, in the following future for you guys. So sorry about it not being the most um, sort out, organized type deal. So here we have um, a Chrome lineup, to say the least. So beginning with the first, here we have the, I do it every update, but I'm not going to break the wing off. I think you guys get the point that that plane came broken. Here we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Chrome Heritage Retro Paint Scheme. It's currently loading up passengers to service out the Phoenix Sky Harbor today. Next up, we have our beautiful Indy 80s. Uh, going forward, obviously, these will be the only updates that the, the Storyline Airport will be the only updates that these are mentioned in, or make an appearance in, rather. So, the first MD-83 is loading up passengers with service out to um, Dallas-Fort Worth after arrival from Chicago here. And then the following MD-80 in the back, loading up passengers with service out to uh, Chicago here after arrival from Dallas-Fort Worth. So fairly simple, but there's the five American gates. Once again, you guys will have a chance to vote on that towards the end, so make sure to stick around for that. Um, with all that being stated already, then we already are on to the... Um, my bad for hitting the thing. Um, terminal B. Decided to get Terminal C in. I think you guys are really going to like what I do with it, depending on your guys' votes, of course. So here we have another Southwest load out. So the first plane is M37-800. Tripod does, does want to cooperate with me. I'm going to make it even tighter. Why not? Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to uh, Kansas City when the new flights after all from Las Vegas. The Canyon Blue 737-700 is currently loading up passengers with service out to, um, I got Las Vegas, Los Angeles, uh, Denver, Phoenix. Uh, so I got all the current flights. So Kansas City is one of the new flights. Then the next new flight's going to be to, mm, yeah, let's send it to Pensacola. So Pensacola is another new flight, pretty bizarre since they already have the Nashville flight, but why not? Let's change it up. And then the Trip Crown 1 737-700. Just arrived in from more new routes. So this next new route after Southwest's big expansion out of the Storyline Airport. Uh, he currently just arrived in from uh, to go to Albuquerque, New Mexico after arrival from um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So you guys kind of just see what I did there with some of the new flights. Um, a lot of them are uh, flights that I have on, uh, or a lot of the airports I have. So pretty cool. So a lot of new models here, uh, four of them, or three of them, out of the four. So we'll begin down there with the um, the plane I've had. Here's the Delta Airlines CS100. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to Minneapolis, St. Paul, after I'm from Atlanta. So I'm not going to throw in, I might throw in one new Delta flight, but it's pretty much going to be the same, just on different aircraft. So I'll try to have everything organized by the late October update, which will be a big update, of course. This is a big update with all the new models, but... There'll be some more new models flown in. Uh, of course, I said that I got, there's a total of five planes, I believe, in that negotiation. And then uh, the new Gemini Jets releases the uh, Air Canada Express Ember 170. That would be a really cool plot twist to bring that back, uh, Air Canada in general. And then uh, JetBlue A321neo, uh, those are two I'm about to pre-order. So 
Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to Minneapolis, St. Paul after I'm pretty sure we've had Minneapolis. It's just been on CS100, but Minneapolis, St. Paul for him to turn around flight. Delta Airlines MD-90, MD-88, so used to that. Another new model. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to um, Delta MD-88. Anyways, here we have this Delta Airlines McDonald Level 788. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to, um, I already said Detroit, Minneapolis, Salt Lake City, and Atlanta. So, um, it's kind of a tough spot on, I'm pretty sure we do not have New York Gloria, so we will put in New York Gloria here on this Delta MD88. I might have, but just to make sure if I didn't, here's the New York Gloria MD88. And then another new model is the Aero Classics Delta Airlines Airbus E318. Pretty good model in my opinion. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to, um, uh, we'll just send him back to Minneapolis too, but I'll have some new flights for Delta, um, or less aircraft one or the other, but I did want to include all the new models I cut, so make this another massive Storyline Airport update. Here we have an Alaska Airlines Airbus E320. He's currently loading up passengers service out to Seattle, Tacoma. Um, next up, Aero Mexico, Boeing 737-800, currently loading up passengers with service out to Mexico City. They're working on a new route. Uh, Walter's talked about it uh, in the in the office, so talk to Walter quite a lot. Uh, here we have a United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the new livery. Again, a new model. Looks really good in my opinion, but the injuries would have been better. He's currently loading up passengers with service out to uh, Houston IH today. Did I forget to get another United plane? I think I did. Wow. Okay, well... Uh, only flight today. Uh, he's riding from Chicago here then. So that's how that will go. Oh, New Airlines back there. Here we have a Spirit Airlines Airbus E321. He's trying to load up passengers with service out to... I'm pretty sure we had Dallas and Minneapolis and Fort Lauderdale in Orlando. Okay. So he arrived from Orlando heading out to Minneapolis St. Paul. Down there we have a JetBlue Airbus E320 in the striped cell. That is... Um, uh, Bluebird, he's currently loading up passengers with service out to uh, Boston Logan. And then New Airline, finally, the only Allegiant plane I have, the Airbus A320, loading up passengers, heading out to uh, the new flight for them, it's Orlando Sanford, after arrival from Las Vegas. So, kind of their two hubs, kind of deal. Uh, obviously, they have all their focus cities, which there are all focus cities, however, um, those are their two big uh, destinations, pretty much. So, anyways. Uh, arrived in from Landon Sanford, heading up to Las Vegas. Moving right along to the Spirit Airbus E320 Neo. He's currently loading up passenger, or taxing out, my bad, heading out to Fort Lauderdale after arrival from Dallas, Fort Worth. So I did get that All right. We're almost done already. Here we have an American Airlines Boeing 757 200. He's currently uh, taxing, uh, getting ready for takeoff, heading out to Chicago here today. After all, from I think I won't, yeah, because this plane's going to the last destination, Dallas Fort Worth. Um, you guys will have to vote. Uh, obviously, Doug Park is about to come in and be pretty furious, so it's up to you guys. American Eagle Ember 145 heading out to Philadelphia, of course. I do want to get some new flights for that, but America kind of had their um, big event, so vote on by you guys. Uh, two more new flights for Southwest here. We have a 737-800 in Hart livery. He's currently taxing out, getting ready for takeoff. He arrived in from mm, uh, Chicago Midway, and we'll be heading out to Austin, Texas. Now this model was a diversion, but it's a beautiful model, so I had to make the update. Here we have a Qatar Phoenix Air. Phoenix models, Qatar Airways, Airbus E350, 1000, the one world livery. This model is huge. It's easily the biggest plane I have. I do have two A350s now. I have the Delta and now this Phoenix, but these are huge for whatever reason. They're, I guess it's just the wings that make them that big or make them look that big. However, they just seem so much bigger than even the 777s per se. But anyways, he diverted. Uh, he was going from... Um, Doha to Dallas, um, field diversion, or weather diversion rather, um, and he went off course and he ended up here, so um, he's heading back to Dallas right now and we'll be making a return flight from there back to Doha, so uh, this airline could make it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a terminal C at some point will be some of the international airlines, obviously the only international, current international airline that's somewhat 
is Aerial Mexico, but there um, at this airport we have the Canada Mexico uh, trade or Canada Mexico uh, agreement, kind of like aviation AS Aviation's fictional airport where they um, don't have to go through customs. So, yeah. And then finally we have the uh, Frontier Airlines Airbus E320 Neo uh, Flower to Hummingbird. Uh, yeah, just make sure it was in Georgia. Uh, he's currently uh, <clears throat> he's currently rolling down runway 18 or getting ready to, and he's gonna be heading out to um, Denver. No, I didn't forget Denver for Southwest. About did, but anyways, uh, I went over the planes quick so I can get to the rambling part of this video. So, um, thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. It means the world. Um, we're on the pursuit. We're gonna go get a thousand. Hopefully by the end of this year is a stretch. I want to go get 750 by the end of the year. That's my goal. I think we can do that and maybe even 800 or so. But yeah, going forward, so we are on the right track here to start October. Friday will be a Dallas Fort Worth and National Airport update. It will be um, definitely the most transition slash um, fairly exciting with all the new models. However, not having MDAs, I don't know how it's gonna go. So it's going to be a interesting update, but um, yeah, the MD-80s already been gone for months, so I really don't know how to go about that. Uh, the plant, the two that are Tulsa have still not left, so um, pretty crazy, but we're kind of just trying to make it work, I suppose, so uh, that's where we're going with that. So we have that, um, then next Monday, I believe, is on Albuquerque again, which um, I don't think and a Delta some thirty seven nine hundred be, can be used for that airport. Um, United could be. Um, so there'll be a couple of new models, three or four FedEx. So they'll they'll make, might be like five new models in that update. Some pretty good, and then the following Friday will be a trip report if I can get it out. I'm not. I'm. I have four left, I believe, because I have. Uh, Dallas to Nashville, 737 Nashville to Dallas, which will be the final MD-80 trip report ever. And then Dallas to Tulsa, um, and then Tulsa to Dallas. So yeah, four. So those will run till about the, uh, I might stretch it out till the end of the year. It depends how I get them out, but they could be done by November, but they will probably for sure be done by the end of the year. So, um, once those are complete, um, and that will be the end of the busy part of my uh, school year, which will lead us into around late November, or everything will probably let off around late, or yeah, about late November or so. I don't know why the printer is printing randomly. There's no paper in it, so I don't know why it's trying, but uh, like I was saying, um, that'll lead us into, um, I'm not gonna revamp, but I'm definitely going to regroup, get more organized and, um, Sorry about the printer, guys. I know it's probably annoying, but I'm going to regroup and really get focused. I want to bring Psycho Ape Geek back and better than ever. I want to uh, possibly work on some new content ideas, maybe come up with some such Psycho Ape Geek um, creative-wise, like something different from what everybody does. So that is a goal that I do have. Um, but yeah, concluding the trip reports. Uh, what else will be coming is probably what you guys are asking. Uh, you'll obviously have the seven total airport updates. Um, I do want to work on new airports soon. That is the goal to uh, have a new airport. I'd like to have a new airport by around Christmas. That would be great. Um, I can't guarantee that, but um, definitely uh, in the cards is a new airport. Um, maybe by next summer I could have like six or seven airports. That would be pretty cool because I, well, I think I already have six. Reno, Tulsa, Albuquerque, Pensacola, Dallas, Storyline. So I have six. So maybe maybe if I get to like 10. I don't know, but I do want to keep building and I want to um, make this even more than what it already is. Next summer, I'm really excited for it. It's going to be definitely different. I don't have any trips planned out right now. However, I'm sure something will come up. Hopefully not an unexpected trip to Washington, D.C. or something. That would be great. But we'll just see how it goes. Um... Please follow me on Instagram at Red River Aviation so you can always um, see the photography. If you can't see I'm editing over there, that's a JetBlue Ember 190 lane in DCA, which that's the new perspective. That uh, We're about done with the DCA posts from the takeoff perspective shots. So uh, make sure you're following, on me, following me on there. I don't know why the light's been 
horrendous lately, but hopefully we get back to the swing of things with those with these new pitchers. I think they'll definitely put us back in a better spot. But um, I want to get you guys to cut scene, but I just want to make sure you guys are informed on everything. Uh, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I really appreciate 600. It's a big milestone. We're really, really starting to get up there. So uh, thank you guys so much for that. Um, if you want to keep watching videos, of course, after cutscene, there's plenty of them on the channel. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to elaborate on, but I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, for the Storyline Airport, um, expansion's obviously going to be a key. I'm either going to have to come up with a new fold-up table or condense my space or something because we're obviously already out of room. Maybe I'll move the... Uh, runway down, add more terminals or something. Um, I do need to work on some new terminals, which, which the new airport, I do want to work on that as soon as possible. But um, I'm trying to think if there's anything more that we cross 20, 26. Time kind of goes when you're having fun filming updates, I'll say that. But cutscenes will probably be around three minutes each, so that will make this video probably about 28 minutes or so. But yeah, hopefully it was condensed down enough for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. There's a lot coming to the channel, and I never want you guys to miss out on it. Um, and going forward, we're going to have a lot coming, so stay tuned. Um, you guys are really going to enjoy it, and I know you will. Um, we've been doing this for over a year now, and I just never want to stop. I want to keep going. I want to keep uploading twice a week. I just want to keep making this great. I want to keep uh, getting the entertainment for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the update. I hope you all have a fantastic day. You can keep watching videos on the channel. They're on there. And, yeah, uh, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next update. Red River Aviation, signing off. Walter, not being able to make new flights in the airport and especially frequency to our current flights has really hurt us. The Storyline Airport's a great market being able to get through here with fairly reasonable prices and everything and plus the great mark with all the passengers and everything i just want to keep expanding here and i hope you'll take into consideration that we want to keep expanding however i don't know what's limited to us from not letting us give give us more an opportunity to have more flights i just don't get it could you please give us a chance that's all i ask for i just want another shot to keep growing here at the storyline airport hopefully turn into a hub but Unfortunately, if we can't make new flights, and I'm not sure what more I can do. But I hope you understand that I'm really trying, and I want to have a great market here at the Storyline Airport. So I really hope you take it into consideration. I'll be waiting to hear your reply. Um, I hope you call me back, but pretty much I just I just want another shot. It's all I could ask for, and I'm really happy with where we are now, but I just want to keep growing. I want this to be one of our biggest hubs one day and to keep going out how we do it we just i just want to keep growing here and that's what i plan to do i understand that you make all the decisions and everything and well i don't want to go to the actual memphis airport or anything like that i just want another opportunity here because it's a it's a gr it's a great network for us and just is doing really well so i'm not going to keep you any longer but just want to let you know i wanted another shot so i'll be eager to hear from you thank you